Hey everybody, I am going live for our energy update uh, about an hour early tonight than I actually had uh, promoted. And the reason why is I've got um, conflicts of schedules going on. Technology is gearing up for a Mercury retrograde already, so I've been having a little contrast with that this week. And I just wanted to make sure that I actually did this energy report before the night got away from me and I wasn't able to do it. So. Or better earlier than not, seems how my um, border crisis quantum view uh, somehow disappeared on our Facebook page, which I will tell you guys, I will be redoing that. And I think I will add a little bit to that um, message now that I have thought about it. Uh, channeled messages are really hard to repeat, so I thought what I would do is expand a little bit on the border, border crisis. I will try to get to that before the end of this week. I will let you guys know. It's probably going to be like an early morning live, uh, maybe a coffee conversation we can start having. Maybe we could do a little interactive. I don't know. I'll look at my team and what we have about to go on vacation, but I can definitely broadcast from wherever we are. Um, and, when, and with that being said, I want to also bring what it is to co collectively represent America into that big picture of the border crisis. Because really, it's about a collective. It's about focus. And really, that's what this full moon is all about. If I wanted to jump online and give you guys some cheat codes and some, you know, kind of um, some, some confirmation of how to kind of like navigate this particular full moon. I've been kind of talking about this full moon the last couple of weeks, um, getting ready for the Capricorn energy. Capricorn energy is extremely different than Gemini energy because Capricorn energy is all about grounded work ethic and not necessarily at the at, at the um, best case scenario for everyone. The grounded energy of the Capricorn is all about focus and laser focus and work ethic and dynamic and how you're showing up and what you're producing. So you're going to be kind of hit with with lots and lots of distractions that are going to be testing your laser-like focus this month. And um, at least with this full moon, which usually kind of as it turns into a retrograde or begins a retrograde, I think we start retrograde today. And so we're getting a retrograde and then we're going into the full moon, which is on the 28th in Capricorn. It's like Gemini and, and Capricorn with like air and we and dreamer and visionary and then grounded into work. So. What that kind of means for you is your focus is going to be tested a lot and you're going to be purging out a lot of old programs right now. And when I say programs, what I mean is patterns and manifestations that have a re reoccurring effect in your life. So certain issues with friends, certain issues with relationships, certain issues with your body are kind of kind of rear their head this, this last week and this week. So that you can get get your attention, um, and not in a negative, but to have you focus through the contrast at where you want to go and what you want to do versus what is happening. See, you've been in this patterns, these circular patterns for so long that we can't really uh, elevate and evolve running the same patterns. So what happens is every time you level up, you get faced with that pattern again. And the universe is saying, okay, who are you now in this old pattern? Who is this new you in this old pattern? What are you going to do with this information? What are you going to do with this conflict? What are you going to do with um, this restriction? What are you going to do with this distraction? What are you going to do with this nemesis? Because a lot of us are kind of facing that kind of nemesis type of energy, whether it's clutter or an old relationship spurring its head and, and, showing up on your doorstep or whatever, whatever it is, it's asking you, who are you in this pattern? Guaranteed, this pattern that's running, that's probably in your face right now, is an old one. And when I teach about patterns, I always ask my students to look past what is happening in the circumstances and look at the metaphor. So the metaphor of what is happening, and it kind of takes you away from being so attached to what's happening when you can look at the metaphor of the feeling behind what's happening. So if you're in a conflict with someone, what is the feeling that's coming up with you? Is it betrayal? Is it blindsided energy? Is it sadness? Is it grief? So what's happening is that pattern is showing up and the person that's demonstrating is you is just pulling it out of you because it's law of reflection. So that person or place or thing or lack of person, place or thing is showing up to kind of 
pull, purge this out. I mean, full moons are all about the purge cycle. And because we're moving fast and furious into our new evolutionary phase of kind of grounding ourselves in this 5D construct, we're going to be purging even more so that we stop re repeating certain patterns that keep us in judgment, that keep us limited, that keep us um, disassociated from ourselves, that keep us small, that keep us lonely, that keep us angry that keep us whatever and these patterns are just there to resurface so you, that the universe can say okay who are you now and because we're in the third wave basically of this revolution evolution process then it's asking you how can you demonstrate yourself differently because if i demonstrate the third wave is i demonstrate that's why us as a collective it's all time to show up which i will be kind of going over in the quantum perspective of the border crisis, which is literally, if you think about it, it's just the pattern that we keep creating over and over again. And and what does that pattern represent? Families being ripped apart. You know, it's funny because Hitler was actually Capricorn. So if you look at what's really coming up right now as far as recircular patterns, collectively, we have to purge our grief and our shame and our guilt and our are, you know, all of these things collectively. So what we're doing on a micro level in our relationships and with our time and with our money and with our health, we're doing on a macro level with our collective. So how are we going to show up differently in our collective? How can you show up differently in your environment, in your country, in your state, in your location? Meaning it's not about being a victim. It's not about being disempowered about what's happening. It's about you have two choices. We can act in fear or we can act in love. And that's really what the universe is saying is, okay, with this distraction, with this situation, with this traumatic event, with this loss, with this situation, how are you going to show up in this? And that's really what's going to be heightened over the next two weeks. And the retrograde is going to kind of bring in like more, more poking. So it's going to be like more poking you. And I've been dealing with it on my uh, micro level with, with connection. So my connection's been wonky with my technology. I've been losing Facebook videos. You know, it's just, it's been a very silly pattern that I have a tendency to repeat and I'm going to clear it. So I decided to get on early and instead of wait and make sure the technology worked later and that I was on time for everything. So I decided to do it earlier. So I hope that this um, broadcast helps you guys kind of navigate these next couple of weeks. Um, just know that everything that is happening to you is happening for you, through you, from you. It's not so it's not happening to you. It's not, it's not, you're not a victim of the universe. You're creating it for some reason so that you can level up and you can, you can use whatever challenge is pushing you to motivate you to pull out your potential, to pull out your wisdom, to pull out your grace, to pull out your loving heart. I mean, that's what triggers are for. They are the guides. Triggers are the guide. So what's triggering us collectively, families, children, we're cleaning up the first seven-year cycle of our life right now to move into this evolutionary phase of 5D. So isn't it interesting that if we're clearing the first seven years of our life, this is where we're abandoned, rejected, maybe possibly abused, taken away from our families, or realizing we didn't really have a family. And so that's kind of what we're seeing collectively unfold quantumly. So we've got to look at the big picture metaphorically and what that helps us do as impacts is not take everything so personally so that we become a victim or we become fear-based in our thinking. We become more of, of the potential and we become more of the solution when we look at things that way. So I'll leave you guys with that. And I hope you have an awesome full moon and you are manifesting what it is that you came here to do and that you are on mission at some level of the game. And I will see all of my academy students for our second workshop of Channeling Higher Self uh, Wednesday and Thursday in our Artica groups. Um, and for the rest of you guys, enjoy this awesome weekend and um, keep yourself focused. Love you all. Bye.